Let me teach you 10 facts that only the most dedicated astronomers know. Join the secret club just by laying down on your couch and watching this video. Did you know that ice could be very hot and that water could cause fires? Those things only happen in space, and only we astronomers know about them. Get ready to have your mind blown as we take you on a journey through the wonders of space. Number 10. Ice can be hot too. Gliese 436b is a unique exoplanet that has hot ice, which is a form of water that remains solid even at high temperatures due to the extreme pressure on the planet's surface. This is possible because Gliese 436b has a high surface gravity, which compresses its atmosphere and results in a high-pressure environment. The planet is also located very close to its host star, completing an orbit in just 2.6 Earth days. This close proximity has caused the planet's atmosphere to heat up to extreme temperatures of around 439 degrees Celsius, which would normally cause water to evaporate and turn into gas. However, the high pressure on the planet's surface compresses the water molecules and prevents them from turning into gas, even at very high temperatures. The composition of Gliese 436b's atmosphere is also unique as it contains a significant amount of hydrogen and helium in addition to water. This is thought to be due to the planet's formation, which may have involved the process known as accretion, in which it grew from a cloud of gas and dust that surrounded its host star. Number 9. Next North Star will be Vega The North Star, also known as Polaris, is currently the brightest star in the constellation Ursa Minor, and has been used by sailors and navigators for centuries to help them navigate the seas. However, due to the Earth's axial precession, which causes the rotation of axis of the Earth to slowly move over time, the position of the North Star is not fixed and changes over long periods of time. In approximately 12,000 years from now, the star Vega in the constellation Lyra is predicted to become the next North Star. This is because the Earth's rotation axis will have moved enough to align with Vega, making it the star that is closest to the North Celestial Pole. Vega is a bright star that is visible to the naked eye and is one of the brightest stars in the sky. It is also relatively close to the Earth at a distance of approximately 25 light years. While the change in the North Star may not have a significant impact on navigation in the short term, it is a reminder of the ongoing changes that are taking place in the universe and the importance of understanding and observing the movements of the stars and other celestial objects. Number 8. Trash isn't only on Earth Space trash, also known as space debris or orbital debris, refers to the man-made objects that orbit the Earth and no longer serve any useful purpose. This includes items such as spent rocket stages, defunct satellites, and other debris caused by human space exploration activities. Space trash poses a significant risk to space missions and to the safety of astronauts, as well as to the functioning of important satellites that are used for communication, navigation, and weather monitoring. The risk of collision between space debris and satellites or spacecraft is increasing as the amount of space trash continues to grow and a collision can cause significant damage or even complete destruction of an object. In addition, the impact of space debris on Earth is also a concern, as larger objects that fall out of orbit can potentially cause damage or harm to people or property on the ground. To address the risks associated with space debris, a number of measures are being taken. These include developing new technologies to track and monitor space debris, designing satellites and spacecraft to be more resilient to collisions, and creating guidelines and regulations to govern the disposal of space debris. Number 7. Looking at stars means looking at the past. What many people may not realize is that stargazing is actually a way of looking into the past. This is because light travels at a finite speed, and even though it moves very quickly, it still takes time to travel across the vast distances of space. When we look up at the stars, we are actually seeing them as they were in the past, rather than as they are right now. 
For example, when we look at the star Sirius, which is located about 8.6 light years away from Earth, we're actually seeing it as it was 8.6 years ago. Similarly, when we look at the Andromeda Galaxy, which is located about 2.5 million light years away from Earth, we are seeing it as it was 2.5 million years ago. Stargazing therefore provides us with a unique opportunity to observe the past and gain insights into the history and evolution of the universe. It allows us to study the behavior of stars and other objects over long periods of time and to observe events such as supernovae and other astronomical phenomena that occurred many years ago. If you were to travel to another star, approximately 70 million light years away from us, and watch the Earth from there, you'd be able to see the Earth at the time of the dinosaurs. And don't be fooled by the numbers, 75 million light years isn't that far from us compared to the actual size of the universe. Number 6. Earth's Rotation is slowing down. The Earth's rotation on its axis is gradually slowing down, meaning that the length of a day is getting longer over time. This phenomenon is caused by the gravitational pull of the Moon on the Earth, which causes a transfer of energy and momentum that slows down the Earth's rotation. This slowing down of the Earth's rotation has a number of consequences, both positive and negative. On the positive side, it means that the length of a day is gradually getting longer, which can have a positive impact on agriculture and other activities that rely on daylight hours. In addition, the slowing down of the Earth's rotation has a small effect on the Earth's magnetic field, which helps to protect us from harmful solar radiation. However, there are also some negative consequences of the Earth's slowing rotation. One of these is that it can lead to changes in the Earth's climate as the distribution of heat and moisture across the planet is affected by the length of a day. In addition, the slowing down of the Earth's rotation can also cause changes in the tides and other oceanic phenomena, which can have an impact on marine life and coastal ecosystems. Number 5. Large portions of the Milky Way galaxy are drifting away from us. Recent research has shown that the Milky Way galaxy is losing some of its mass due to a process known as tidal stripping. This occurs when small galaxies or globular clusters are pulled apart by the strong gravitational forces of the Milky Way, and their constituent stars and gas are drawn into the larger galaxy. The process of tidal stripping has been known to occur for many years, but recent observations have shown that it is happening on a much larger scale than previously thought. Using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, astronomers have found that large chunks of the Milky Way outer halo are being pulled away by the gravitational influence of nearby galaxies. This has important implications for our understanding of the evolution of the Milky Way and of galaxies in general. It suggests that galaxies are constantly interacting and exchanging material with their surroundings, and that the process of tidal stripping is an important factor in shaping the structure and composition of galaxies over time. At the same time, it also raises questions about the long-term stability and sustainability of galaxies and the potential impacts of external forces on their development and evolution. Number 4. Space is not silent Contrary to popular belief, space is not completely silent. While there is no sound in the vacuum of space where there is no medium to transmit sound waves, there are various types of sounds that can be detected and studied in space. One of the most well-known examples of sound in space is the eerie haunting sounds emitted by various celestial bodies, including stars and planets. These sounds are caused by the emission of electromagnetic waves, which can be detected by specialized instruments and translated into audible sound waves. Another example of sound in space is the low-frequency radio emissions that can be detected from various sources, including black holes, supernova remnants, and other cosmic phenomena. These emissions can be detected by radio telescopes and other instruments, and can be studied to gain insights into the structure and composition of the universe. Number 3. You can actually start a fire in space. All you need is water. It might seem counterintuitive, but water can actually start fires in space. This occurs when water droplets are exposed to the vacuum of space 
and then exposed to sunlight or other sources of radiation. When a water droplet is exposed to the vacuum of space, it rapidly boils and turns into a gas. However, the gas molecules that are produced are not able to escape and instead become trapped in a small pocket of vapor around the droplet. This pocket of vapor can become highly pressurized, and when exposed to sunlight or other forms of radiation, it can heat up and ignite. This can produce a small flame that burns for a few seconds before going out. While they're not a major concern for space missions, they do highlight the unique and often surprising properties of space environments. The studies can help scientists better understand the behavior of materials and substances in space, and can inform the development of new technologies and materials that are better suited for use in space exploration and colonization. Number 2. There's a diamond the size of Earth in our galaxy. BPM 37093, also known as the Diamond Star, is a white dwarf star located in the constellation Centaurus, approximately 50 light years from Earth. What makes BPM 37093 so special is that it is believed to be made up largely of crystallized carbon, which means that it could be the largest diamond ever discovered. Scientists believe that BPM 37093 was once a star similar in size to our Sun. As the star reached the end of its life, it went through a process of expanding and contracting before eventually collapsing into a white dwarf. During this process, the carbon within the star became so compressed that it crystallized, creating a diamond-like structure that is estimated to be larger than the Earth. While BPM 37093 is not visible to the naked eye, it has been studied extensively using telescopes and other instruments. These studies have provided valuable insights into the formation and evolution of stars, as well as the properties and behavior of materials under extreme conditions. The discovery of BPM 37093 has also sparked interest in the possibility of mining asteroids and other celestial bodies for valuable minerals and resources. While this idea is still in its early stages, the study of stars like BPM 37093 is helping scientists better understand the potential of space exploration and development. Number 1. Supernovae Create Gold and Platinum Supernovae are among the most dramatic events in the universe, representing the explosive death of massive stars. These explosions occur when a star exhausts its fuel and collapses under the force of gravity leading to a cataclysmic release of energy and the ejection of vast amounts of material into space. Supernovae are not only spectacular to observe, but they are also crucial for the creation of heavy elements like gold and platinum. In fact, the vast majority of elements heavier than iron are thought to be created in supernova explosions. During a supernova, the extreme conditions created by the explosion cause atomic nuclei to collide and fuse forming heavier elements. These newly formed elements are then scattered into space where they can become incorporated into new stars and planets. The importance of supernovae for the creation of heavy elements has been recognized for decades, but it was only in recent years that astronomers were able to confirm this through observations. In 2017, for example, the first detection of gravitational waves from a neutron star merger was made and the resulting observations confirmed that heavy elements like gold and platinum are indeed created in supernova explosions. That's all for this episode of 10 Facts Only Astronomers Know. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.